This demo will cover printing a woodcut using a western style roll-up. Before inking, gently dust the surface of your plate to remove any sawdust or debris generated from the carving. Lay out a small amount of ink on the slab and work it with a knife to homogenize it and warm it up. You'll notice that wood blocks need a little more ink than linoleum because of how absorbent the untreated block is. Pull out a strip of ink and begin charging the ruler. This doesn't need to take much room, just a smallish rectangle. Be sure to lift the brayer between passes and allow the roller to spin for complete coverage. Apply ink to the plate with strokes that go in different directions. This helps avoid brayer marks and evens out the application. For plates like this one, where a lot of material has been removed, there's a risk of the brayer tipping and accidentally inking a carved area. One trick to help with this is to place blocks of equal height on either side to act as runners for the brayer. For small spots, a quick fix is to cover the unwanted ink with just a bit of tape right before printing. Lay your paper over top the plate and apply pressure to the back, either with a wooden spoon or a press. While printing, use the other hand to exert constant, firm pressure to the back of the paper to prevent it from slipping. There are different types of bearings you will encounter, but most are designed for Mokuhanga techniques. These bearings will not generate enough pressure to lift oil-based ink. The wooden spoon works quite well for this process, and there are also glass barons that are heavier and smoother. This takes practice and patience, but you can always lay one hand flat to keep the paper in place while you lift the edge of the print to check its progress. With relief printing in general, but particularly with wood, expect the first proof to be lighter, especially if you did not seal the block. This will improve after the first print, once the thirsty wood has absorbed some ink. Cleanup for woodcut is pretty much the same as with linoleum. Begin by printing off excess ink from the surface using newsprint or scrap paper. Scrape up leftover ink and either save it with plastic wrap if you have enough, or discard it if you don't. Hold the brayer over the inking slab while you pour baby oil on it. Roll the brayer through the oil to coat. Wipe the oil and ink off using a paper towel. Be sure to get the sides of the roller as well. Then wipe up the oil on the slab. Use a paper towel with watered down dish soap to remove the residue left by the oil. Remember to get all five sides of the ink knife. Then dry with a clean paper towel. The time required for oil-based ink to dry depends on a couple of factors, including the brand of ink, the thickness of the paper, and the application of the ink. But a good rule of thumb is about a day for it to dry to the touch and a week for it to dry all the way through.